100 acres of farmland near motor car magnet Henry Ford's factory at River Rouge are an experiment in employment. Working on the farm and living in tents are 60 boys from poor families and they've made the camp pay. Henry Ford, who is testing his own theory, pays the lads two dollars, roughly ten shillings a day, and meals, and they also share in the profits. They grow a wide variety of vegetables, including soya beans used in the manufacture of motor car parts. One of Ford's beliefs is that factories should be closer to the farms because industry will more and more use the products of the farmer. At Camp Legion, the boys are between 17 and 20, and they run a market for the sale of their homegrown vegetables. On several days, the roadside stand took over $150, that's about 30 pounds, and that was very encouraging. And the youngsters gain valuable experience in selling and in handling customers. All of them have done their bit in the fields before they sell in the store, and very soon they'll join the Ford Trade School. The indefatigable Henry is convinced that making things grow and the discipline of hard work on the land are the best training for any young man, and he has paid almost daily visits to the farm to see how his theory is panning out. He believes that his plan could be adopted by other big concerns as a possible solution of unemployment.